Well, hello folks. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about balloon framing and the need for fire blocking. So we've talked about balloon framing versus platform framing before. Today we wanna to look at what you need to do if you get into a balloon framing situation. So with balloon framing, that means that your studs go all the way up to the roof. And you can have this situation where you can go past the floor joist. So here's the floor joist for the second floor and these studs go past. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put blocks in here so that way we don't have insulation that falls down and we also don't ever have a situation where we have a fire that gets in the wall and it can just go all the way up real fast. We want to keep that fire at bay if it would ever happen. Hopefully it never ever happens, but if in the instance it does, it's not just going to travel up the wall really quick. So these spaces are a little bit on the odd size in relation to our lumber that we have now. So we have a space here that's three and three quarters wide by 13 and three eighths. So what that means is we're gonna have to take a two by six and rip it down so that way we can have our three and three quarters because a two by four is only three and a half. Got our block, we've ripped it to width, cut it to length. So now we're gonna try to put it up in here and then screw it up in place. So there we go, folks. We got our fire blocking in place. I'm gonna go ahead and put some studs aside here to kind of fur out this wall, and then we'll be done. Thanks so much for watching today. Thanks for the view. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward, and try to better yourself today. Thanks for watching.